All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I'm Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to do an update on a specific Bitcoin mining company. I did an update on them about a month ago, and I want to follow up on that because some massive action has happened since then. So I want to bring everybody up to speed. If you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, please smash the like button. And if anybody wants to, you can also become a member of the channel by hitting the join button. And with that, you get some extra content. We also do a live feed once a week for members members only. So you get all of that stuff and you help support the channel. So I appreciate it. This was the thumbnail from my previous video. It says red flag. This is the biggest red flag I've ever seen from a Bitcoin mining company. This company was already down 90% when I did the video. They're down drastically from that point since then. I think they're down over another 40% since I did that video, 50 or 60% over the last three months. However, they have been addressing some of the issues that I had and they've been making some big moves. So I wanted to go through and do an update on this because because this stock is something that I went from very afraid of to something that I've personally put near the top of my watch list. So again, this is not financial advice. I can't tell you guys to buy this, but I do want to keep you up to date on the changing situation that's going on. The company I'm talking about is Moss and Stock Ticker, M-I-G-I, and they are a Bitcoin mining company. They have gone through some massive massive changes in their company in response to the fact that they had a very big liquidity problem. So I want to follow up on the video and talk about all that, show you what they've been doing about it, and then we'll take a look at the chart and see what's going on. So let's start off by taking a look where they closed on Friday. Friday was September 30th. That's the end of the third quarter. So that was the close of the quarter and Mawson closed at 43.15 cents. So you can see that leaves them with a market cap of $35 million. They've been as high as $15.60. So this stock is down, pushed almost to zero. I mean, from $15.60 down to $0.43 cents is a spectacular move to the downside. So I want to tell you the reasons why this happened, but I also want to give you an update on what they've been doing about it because we have gotten a bunch of pretty detailed information out of them and they have actually taken some drastic actions to solve their situation. So first, I just want to refresh everybody's memory. This is what, in my mind, the big problem was. If we look at their balance sheet, and, and this is true for all the Bitcoin mining companies. I talk about this. This is a very capital-intensive business. It takes cash and liquidity to get through this, especially we are in an extended down period in Bitcoin. One of my main things that I look at was called a current ratio. It's comparing current assets to current liabilities. That's really a measure of a company's liquidity. That's their ability to pay their bills. There are a lot of Bitcoin mining companies that have extremely, extremely strong balance sheets where that ratio is three times as many current assets as current liabilities. Some have five times as many or 10 times as many. So, you know, the vast majority of them are positive. Some are better than others. However, in the case of Mawson, you'll see their current assets at the end of the second quarter, the quarter of June 30th, that's the most recent financial information. They had total current assets of $12 million and they had total current current liabilities, you'll see, of $68 million. So that is a one to six ratio. That is a nightmare for any company, particularly in the Bitcoin mining industry. So you're gonna see most of the liabilities, these are not intangible things that are not gonna come due. These current liabilities are their accounts payable. So that's the most current of all liabilities. And then the current portion of their borrowings. So that's also imminently due. So that's $68 million, $47 million of which is accounts payable. So they have significantly more overdue bills than they have total current assets. So obviously to me, that was a gigantic red flag that something was coming and something had to be done about it. So since then, we found out a little bit more about what this is. In fact, a lot more. They have made a major, major transaction. So I wanna go through that major transaction, which helps this situation a lot, and then go through their most recent monthly update and this will give you a better sense of where they're at. So you can see they had, you know, maybe a $50 million problem here. Okay, so on September 9th, this came out. This is a press release from Mawson, Mawson Infrastructure Group to sell Sanderville, Georgia Bitcoin mining facility, including 6,468 ASIC Bitcoin miners to CleanSpark for up to $42.5 million. I'm gonna go through the details of that. They did get some stock in this, but they got a lot of cash. And as we just saw, they were in desperate need for cash. So Mawson operates five different facilities, and this one was one they had big hopes for. However, by selling this, they were able to generate a lot of cash. This solved a big piece of their problem from a cash standpoint, and it reduced their overhead, and you know, so all good things. 
Obviously, it's not great. They also had to sell 6,468 of their up and running machines. So that reduces their capacity over time. And so there are some, some short-term negative hits to this, but you can see this company had an imminent problem. They were going to go out of business. They said so right in their 10K that if they couldn't find a way to raise money, they couldn't guarantee that they could even stay in business this year. So this situation right here goes a very long way towards changing that problem for them. Okay, just to describe the deal a little bit, Mustin has executed definitive documentation to sell its Sanderville, Georgia Bitcoin mining facility for approximately $33 million plus power deposits at a premium to book value and 6,468 ASIC Bitcoin miners for an additional $9.48 million. As a part of the $33 million of consideration, Mawson will receive up to approximately $11 million in CleanSpark stock. So we're gonna set that aside for a minute. That is, in my opinion, a very valuable asset. And you'll see that if they go through with everything and they get the full amount, that'll be about 5.5% of the outstanding shares in CleanSpark. So that's a nice investment, but that's not why they did this. Out of $33 million, 11 of that was stock. That means $22 million of that was cash. And then another $9.48 million to sell their machines. So that's in the neighborhood of $32 million of cash that they generated with this one transaction. Obviously the core point of my last video was they have a cash flow problem and I did not see where they were gonna be able to come up with that cash. It was not gonna be through equity. They, their market cap is so small at this point, they really didn't have the ability to raise $50 million. They're under a $50 million market cap. So that was just out of the question. It was hard for me to believe they were gonna raise that in debt. But here's one single transaction that, you know, of course this is a short-term hit. And again, this means they're not gonna do all the things that they said they were gonna do. And, you know, they're gonna have to adjust their expectations for what's coming in the year 2022 and the year 2023. However, it does get them $32 million, which they absolutely needed. And at some point that is a mission critical thing and you need to stay in business. So you can see here, they say, Mawson intends to use the proceeds of sale to reduce debt and to focus near-term expansion activities at its Midland and Sharon Bitcoin mining facilities in Pennsylvania with total energy capacity for Bitcoin mining of 220 megawatts. Mawson's existing and pipeline sites include its Australian operations and its 120 megawatt Bitcoin mining facility in Texas. These sites combined have a cumulative 360 megawatts of energy capacity available for Bitcoin mining, which is capable of operating at approximately 12 exahash. So that is the capacity. They have no plans to get to that anytime soon. They do not have the means to get to that anytime soon, but all of that is still stuff they have under contract. All of that is still infrastructure they can build out over time if they can just get through this period of time right now where they are upside down on their cash situation. So you can see the very first thing they said was Mawson intends to use the proceeds of this sale to reduce debt. So that's what we were looking for. That's what the, we know that they needed to do. Okay, I wanna show one other thing. I'm gonna go back to their July 23rd, 2022 update. So in that they said balance sheet strengthened in July with $10 million of new capital. So as we were looking at the June 30th numbers, in July subsequent to that, they had already taken care of about $10 million of this problem, most of which I think was through the issuance of equity. So this 10 million plus that 32 million, that's $42 million. They're getting very close to solving their problem here. Now they're no longer looking at a $55 million problem, which again was bigger than their entire market cap of their company. So that was a mountain that seemed too hard to climb. They've now put a $42 million dent in that. So we don't know what they're left with. I'm sure they're still upside down on cash. I'm sure they still need to raise more cash to get to where they're going. However, now all of a sudden you can see a light at the end of the tunnel. Now all of a sudden you're looking at a company that was already down 90%. They were down another 40 or 50% after I did that video giving, you know, an update that there was a problem here. So now I'm looking at this a little bit the other way. Now, are we now oversold? Have the risk reward shifted on this to where maybe there's an opportunity here? Again, I can't give you guys financial advice. You have to do your own due diligence, but I want to give you an update on what's happened to tell you the changing situations, because there can be no doubt these are massive changes that they've made to their business over the last month and a half and since I did that video. This was their operational update for August. And I wanna show you just a couple of things that they're doing. Okay, the first one right off the bat, approximately $1.8 million generated from Mawson's energy market program in August, in addition to the approximately $1.8 million generated in July. So it, both in the months of July and August, they have now started participating in selling their energy. $1.8 million, that's cash coming in the door. So if you go down here, they actually self-mined 
90 Bitcoin. So their production's down about 50%. However, they pretty much made up the other 50% with cash. So operationally, these updates seem to be fairly decent. Bitcoin has a big recovery, then I would expect them to do more Bitcoin mining. If not, then I would expect them to continue to sell their energy. Now they sell their Bitcoin right when they get it. So they're getting cash for all of their production. Mawson Sector MIGI, Mawson was down 56% from its previous all time low. So again, that's why I put this video out a month ago. Uh, the downside risk on this seemed to greatly outweigh the upside risk at that point. Now I want to go look at the chart and see, you know, you guys need to decide, is that still true or are we moving into the reverse situation? Okay, this is a close up look. So I'm just going to go from, this is the day that I put that video out, this red line right here. So you can see from that time until now, so that's just a little over one month. This company's down almost, you know, 42 or 43 percent. That's a dramatic pullback off of what was already their all-time low at the time. Having said that, I'm wondering, are they bottoming out right now? From the peak last August until the end of this September, so that's just a little more than one year, this stock is down 97.5%. So that is a drastic, drastic reduction in the price of this stock. They're trading somewhere between one half and one third of their revenue. These are very, very low numbers. If Mawson's able to get through this liquidity crisis that they're in, and obviously they've just taken several steps towards doing that. Now, that is no guarantee that they will get to the finish line, but they have taken major, major steps towards getting to back to zero and getting into a positive cash flow situation. So if they are able to do that, obviously at that point, they're not going to be trading for one third of their book value or one third of their revenue. So there is potential upside to this. And I'm just going to show you, this is their market cap over the last couple of years. So if I go back to November, so this isn't even their August highs. If I just go back to November, this was an 850 million dollar company so they went from 850 million dollars you can see they're now a 35 million dollar company so even if they were to 10x and get to 350 million dollars they would still be worth less than half of what they were a year ago now that may be a one or two or three or four year goal but that's a 10x potential so obviously i don't count on 10x's but i'm but these are the types of situations we have seen other bitcoin miners have 10x's or 20x's so mawson having fallen down this hard if they can get up they are they're potentially a situation where there is a lot of potential reward obviously with that comes the high amount of risk so again not financial advice you got to you guys got to make your own decision and do your own due diligence but i wanted to get you up to date because a lot has happened since that last video and for me personally i'm putting this very near the top of my watch list there's just so much out there to buy right now it's hard to decide which is the best opportunity so so that's my update on mawson thanks so much for watching remember to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button thank you so much and i will see you in the next video